Virgo, ruled by Mercury, a feminine receptive sign, mutable Earth. The sun is in Virgo from August 21st to September 22nd, approximately. Virgo is represented by the harvest time, the gleaming of the wheat and the fruits of the earth. The keyword, I analyze, rules the assimilative system in the physical body. Virgo's symbol is depicted as the virgin, holding a sheaf of wheat. This symbol indicates the gathering in of material needs, just as the virgin just as the Vir just as the Virgo people collect, digest, and correlate facts for their mental values. The Virgin denotes purity and perfection. Virgo's desire is to reach the highest possible perfection, not only for themselves but for those around them. They have a greater sense of power than they are able to express, resulting in an inferiority complex. An inferiority complex is a superiority complex turned in on itself. Virgo is constantly learning the lesson of humble service and patience. They find their fullest expression through service to others, being willing to do it quietly but thoroughly. Taking care of endless details and routine jobs is where they function best. There is a cautiousness and oft times a selfishness in Virgo that is often unrecognized by the person born in this sign. It is difficult for the person to communicate and articulate where their inner thoughts and feelings are concerned. Their home is extremely important to them, for they feel more secure than there than in any other surrounding. They are not gregarious because of their shyness. The Virgo people have jittery nerves and a highly geared nervous system. Their state of mind has a direct bearing on their health. They can become hy hypochondriacs if they become too self-centered and anxious about their health. Nervous tension is the person in the body giving the body a hard time. The Virgo individual's greatest fault is being too critical. Their analyzed mind can cause them to degenerate into fault-finding, criticism, and irritability. Virgo's real satisfaction lies in the realm of work and service. They are one of the best workers in the zodiac. They are practical and down-to-earth in their approach to life. They are good in the field of accounting and bookkeeping. Virgo women make excellent nurses, and there is a strong purity and fastidiousness in them. They dislike anything crude or coarse. There is a sweetness and a lack of aggressiveness in this sign. It gives a great attractiveness to those born in this sign. Virgo people make few enemies and have many friends due to their quiet, gentle manner. Because of their own inner feelings of inadequacy, they can be very demanding where their loved ones are concerned. Their need is to learn to be less critical and more loving. Venus, the love principle, is unhappy in an area where the lower mind operates. Love withers in a critical atmosphere. We relate to others through the heart, never through the head. We recognize this fact subconsciously when we use the term never mind. In the universal scheme of things, Virgo stands for the womb of time, wherein God's plan is being worked out through pain, struggle, and conflict. These are the things that set the consciousness free from being earthbound. Virgo represents a sign of the hidden Christ in every man, the seed planted in earth that must root in the darkness and through struggle break its sheath and struggle towards the light. Virgo is the last of the personal or involving signs, and is the threshold of the birth of the inner man. The personality is developed from Aries to Virgo. The soul is developed from Virgo to Pisces.